Hi there, my name is Soren Maibom, and I'm a visual artist. I'm also a scientist, but my first love in life was the game of European football. And in this video, I want to present an art project in which I combine all three of my lifelong passions, art, science, and European football. The project is called Football in Five Dimensions, and the goal is to use visual art to celebrate the multidimensional complexity and richness of the beautiful game. It is one of my sci-art projects, so I will amplify and expand the artistic expression by blending painting and drawing with scientific principles and knowledge of the different dimensions of the game of football, such as its historical dimension, conveying the evolution of the game, its human and social dimension, reflecting on the core human values central to the game, its strategic and tactical dimension, visualizing the game structure and organization, and its dimensions of logical and natural science, showcasing, for example, elements of mathematical and statistical analysis and the physics and physiology of the game. The game of European football is the most popular sport in the world. It is being played by hundreds of millions of children and adults across the world and billions more follow the best players and teams. The reasons are many for this immense interest. The game makes a special connection with us, to our lives, to our struggles, our successes, our identities and cultures. It brings us together, whether around a ball or in the stands. It's a game that is simultaneously easy to play and understand and can be played anywhere by anyone. And yet, it holds incredible complexity and countless variations of playing styles. And just when we think we have seen the perfect team play the perfect game, new teams and players and coaches remind us that we are merely scratching the surface of the game's true potential. So with football in five dimensions, I have set out to, with the help of science, uncover and communicate through visual art what it is that fuels and sustains this incredible magnetism that the game of football has on so many of us. I started with the central object of the game, and for many of us the best toy we've ever had, the ball. The design and construction of the football has gone through many changes over the past century. Changes that hand in hand with the improved physical fitness and skill levels of the players have caused the game to be faster and more entertaining and more focused on perfecting the control of the ball itself. And science has played and continues to play an ever bigger role in helping us understand why the ball behaves as it does and how we can improve it. This first piece, titled The Historical Ball, is a commemoration of the footballs generations of girls and boys and men and women have played with for generations, and of some of the best players who played with them for their countries. The focus is on the evolution and the design and the construction of the football, on the number and the shape of the leather panels forming beautiful repeating patterns across the ball surface. The picture takes you through time, and for many of you down memory lane, by constructing a spherical ball-like shape weaved from the outlines of the panel shapes and designs of the official World Cup and European Championships match balls from 1930 through 2020. And the designs hold amongst them images of the legendary players of those very tournaments. Surrounding the ball, it displays the five platonic solids and the truncated icosahedron, and how these fundamental mathematical geometries have inspired innovations in the design of the football over the past century. The next piece, the geometrical ball, is an ode to the classical 32-panel ball sewn together from 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons and recognized by young and old across the world as the soccer ball. This pattern or geometry is called a truncated icosahedron 
and it is the best known of the 13 geometries defined and documented over 2,000 years ago by the Greek scientist Archimedes. The artwork also acknowledges the formation on Earth and in interstellar space of the so-called carbon-60 soccer ball molecule, a truncated icosahedron with a carbon atom at each vertex 275 million times smaller than a size 5 football. And it celebrates the important contribution to the game of football by Eichel Nielsen, the Danish national team goalkeeper in the 1940s and 50s and founder of the Select Ball Company, who first introduced a football design based on the truncated icosahedron. The third and final work in this ball trilogy is titled The Physical Ball. It explores the physics of the intimate relationship between the millimeter-thin spherical shell that is the modern football and the air inside and outside of it. It tells the story in words, equations and images of how the air pushes from the inside to make the ball round and predictable when kicked or bouncing and celebrates the experimental science that has led to our understanding of the creation and separation of a boundary layer of air surrounding the ball. It pays particular attention to the relationships between the velocity and spin of the ball and the nature of the flow of air around it, either orderly or chaotic, and the resulting lift and drag forces on the ball that we players unknowingly have learned to take advantage of as we kick, pass, and control the ball. The Ball Trilogy are mixed media on canvas, each measuring 127 by 127 centimeters, or 50 by 50 inches. My plans for the Football in Five Dimensions project are to make at least eight such mixed media sci art pieces, focusing on the different aspects and dimensions of the game that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. This is a sketch for a piece I'm currently working on about the stadium the home away from home for millions of people, and a place that each week is the epicenter of an incredible range of human emotions and interactions between players and their fans. I've also begun to work on a piece on the rivalry between the greatest players of the game, and I have started to lay the groundwork for a series on the strategy and tactics of the game, visualizing the fascinating shapes and geometries of the players and their actions on the field as they strive to dominate and defeat their opponents. If you're interested in learning more about my sci art and my artwork in general, you can visit my website at sawnmybum.com and you can contact me via email at art at Thank you for watching.